Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Lake Honey Channel. Today is uh, beginning of March. It's a beautiful day, bees are flying, but we still have some snow on the ground as you can see. But we are thinking about uh, feeding our bees and what's the best methods that I've uh, used so far, what worked for me, what's the advantages and disadvantages of using each, each one. And I'll show you uh, in this video those methods. Thank you. Uh, there are several feeders uh, that I've been using throughout the years. Uh, some of them are better than the other. Uh, and there's some pros and cons for each one of them. So we have uh, Boardman's entrance feeder. We have frame feeders. Uh, we also uh, feed the top feeders. And uh, buckets, one and two gallon buckets that we make uh, screens for those buckets ourselves. And also we have baggy feeders. Uh, these baggy feeders you feed on top of the frames. Entrance feeder, it's a really simple, uh, consists of a jar with uh, holes and a tray. Uh, you simply slide it on the bottom board and bees can access it uh, and take the sugar from the bottom of the jar. Uh, some of the advantages of this feeder is you can easily see the level of the syrup and replace the jar or refill the jar. And also you can take it apart and clean it. And uh, for some of these advantages, is especially if you live in a northern climate like I do, uh, bees cannot access if they're clustered or if it's a cold spell, they can't go out and, and take the syrup or syrup can freeze outside of the hive, outside the, uh, in the jar. And also like uh, during the dirt uh, in late summer or early fall, uh, it can cause robbing, especially if you spill the, uh, the syrup outside the hive. So the second type of feeders I use is uh, division, division type uh, board feeders or frame feeders. I use two styles, uh, one frame and two frames. They hold a pretty good amount of uh, sugar syrup. And uh, when they're placed inside the hive, uh, the syrup is warmer and bees can take it in uh, colder temperatures. So that's what's good about them. Uh, so this uh, two frame uh, type feeder contains uh, tubes that helps uh, bees take the syrup and not drown in the, in, the, in the feeder. And also it's good because uh, there's no robbing, bees can easily defend uh, from robber bees. Some of the disadvantages uh, is they take space of your frames and also uh, you have to uh, like take the hive apart in order to refill them. And also sometimes if the bees take down the sugar syrup and the feeder is empty, they can uh, build a burr comb inside the feeder and you have to clean that up. So the next type of feeder uh, I use is one and two gallon uh, pail or bucket feeders. Uh, some of these they have uh, plugs that you can buy, uh, but most of them I make the, the holes uh, myself and I put the screen and I also uh, put the plug to uh, Some reef. of the advantages that uh, for these type of feeders is you don't have to open the hive to refill or change the buckets. You can feed, you can feed uh, a lot of sugar at one time but uh, some of these advantages is uh, when there's temperature fluctuations and syrup pulls down or uh, or even or when it freezes then it can lose vacuum and leak so I always put one empty high box around to prevent rubber bees to access access the syrup and also you have to clean them really good uh, because sometimes mold will, if you don't, uh, inside the feeder, there'll be mold. So you have to 
uh, open them up and, and really clean them really good. So the next uh, feeders uh, I use are uh, internal high top feeders. Uh, these fit uh, on top of the brood boxes and beneath the cover. Uh, the good thing, they can hold a lot of syrup uh, and they're extremely easy to fill. Bees travel through, uh, through these holes and down to these screens. And they can take the, the syrup pretty fast, which is good, especially in the, in the fall for heavy feeding. But uh, these, each model uh, comes with uh, their own ways to keep the bees from drowning, but I found that bees will drown anyway. And uh, for these reasons, uh, uh, and if you have to move the feeder of the hive when it's full, it's very heavy and the syrup can, uh, you know, spray everywhere and cause robbing. This, uh, particular feed, feeder I'm trying, uh, it's good uh, when you are not on the level ground. So these corners, uh, bees can access through them and, and take the syrup uh, through these corners. So it doesn't have to be level ground. You just have to be careful with these type of uh, feeders, not to leave any openings or cracks because bees cannot defend themselves from robber bees. And the last type of feeder I use are the baggy feeder. It's nothing uh, but uh, a zipper bag filled with uh, syrup. And also I use the shim or a spacer rim to put uh, the bag uh, on top of the frames. Uh, once uh, the bag is in place, I slid, slid uh, with a utility knife and the bees drink the liquid uh, through the slit. Uh, the pros for this uh, type of feeder is there's no dead bees. Uh, bees take the syrup very fast. And uh, also they can take it when the temperatures are colder because uh, the syrup is warm uh, by the cluster. Uh, these bags are on top of the cluster, on top of the frames. Uh, and disadvantages include once you slit the bag, it's impossible to move it. If you do move it, it'll you know spill and cause robbing. And also, you cannot reuse the bag once you uh, make the pull, you know, poke it or slit, make slit, then you have to throw throw away the bag. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope uh, this helps someone, and if it does share my ideas and how I do beekeeping, and hopefully we can all get involved and talk about it and. Have fun. Thank you.